Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. Um, welcome to my April 12, 2010 DVD update. Where I'm going to show all the DVDs I got over the past couple weeks. And uh, my blockbuster near me, the blockbuster near me was going out of business, so there was a sale, and I got a couple, and I got a couple of DVDs there, and I'm probably going to buy a few more. And uh, let's get started. First one I got is George A. Ramiro's Land of the Dead under a director's cut. This was a really gory movie. I saw, I saw it in the hot, like you know, I saw the, like you know, the, I didn't get to finish this, but I saw, like you know, there was a lot of gore scenes in this that I really enjoyed. A lot of great action and a lot of great, you know, this had a great plot too. I definitely would check this out. It's I think it's one of George A. Ramiro's best movies. Close to Day of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead. Next one I got is Friday Thirteenth, the remake, Killer Cut edition, and uh, I didn't get to see this yet, but I'm really looking forward to this. I saw, I have the original. I saw the original. That one was pretty. It was pretty good. The original was pretty good. I like the the. It wasn't my favorite one, but you know it. You know it's like a B to me. You know it's a pretty good movie, but. I like the other ones better, but I can't wait to see this one. This one look, this one looks a little better, a little better than the this the remake looks better than the original. This one looks, this one looks better than the original. But the original was good too. Next one I got, I I gotta get, I gotta get the first one. I I looked for this, and they didn't have it, but at Blockbuster. But I I got I, I gotta get the first one. And it's Hostel Part Two, the first I'm gonna be getting the first one soon. Hostel Part Two on Ray Director's Cut. This is one of the sickest things ever. This is, this is like I think these are actually sicker than the Saw movies, and uh, and I don't know. It's they it really I really like these movies. I definitely would check these out. The second one was a little bit more gorier. The, some some of this disturbed me. Some of it I didn't like, but but uh. I don't know, I think either between, I don't know which one I like better. I think I may like this one a little better than the first. But uh, I definitely would check this out. There was one scene where the, the test, so the woman gets mad at someone and they rip his intestines out. It was really cool. The guy's like is chained up to the chair and, and she rips out his intestines. Like, and it was really cool. I really, I, I think they did a well, well, well done job with that. They did a good job of making that effect look really good. N next one I got is a is a comedy movie with Seth Rogen and James Franco, and uh, it's really funny, mo really fucking hilarious movie. Pineapple Express. It's a great stoner movie, great great comedy movie. When they experience when uh, they experience a murder, and it's it's they go through. It's a crazy movie. I definitely. I definitely would check this out. It's a really funny movie. And James Franco was, ha well, you all know that he was ha Harry in Spider Man. I did not expect him to be in this movie, um, James Franco, because he's in like you know the Spider Man movies, and he's in that new movie that I want to see, Date Night with Steve Carell and Tina Fey. And I, I want to see that too. But um, I definitely would check this out. And Seth Rogen. He's he's one of my favorite actors too. He inspires me to do a couple my to do my movies. He's a, he's a real inspiring actor. Next one I got is with Ice Cube next Friday. There's a a bunch of Friday series, but uh, I think this is my favorite one of the series. I did I only saw the first two. I didn't get to see the other the other ones, but um, I think I like this one the best so far. And it's a, yeah, it's a really funny movie. I definitely would check this out. And Mike Epps is in it. It has a great cast in it. It's like black humor kind of movie. Yeah, I really like black humor movies. This kind of reminds me of How High, the movie with Red Man and, you know, that, that Meth Man or whatever, I forget. But I definitely would check this out. Next one I got is the unread edition of American Pie 2. This was frickin' th there was one really hot scene that I really liked in this movie. But it's a really funny movie too. 
it's sort of strange. Some of it, like, was strange. I think this is probably my favorite American Pie movie. This and Nate the Naked Mile. And, uh, and the first I like, too. I like the first. I did not like Band Camp, though. That one wasn't so funny. And I, I, I have that one, too. But, um, this one I definitely would check out. This was, this was extremely funny. Next one I got is another Ice Cube and, and with Tracy Morgan movie. It's an Ice Cube and Tracy Morgan movie, First Sunday. This was this was this was funny too, but it had it's, it's a comedy drama with a. Uh, I'm gonna read it. Ice Cube and Tracy Morgan are two thieves who haven't got a prayer in First Sunday. A sinfully funny comedy, co-starring Cat Williams and. Ch Chai McBride sentenced to 50,000 hours of community service Daryl Washington's cube life is life quickly goes from bad to worse realizing that the Lord helps those who ha who help themselves he event he eventually decides to help help himself to the neighborhood church's building fund it's it's really funny. I definitely would check this out. And it was one really funny scene that I could not stop watching when when Tracy Morgan was getting massaged and it turned out to and it was this and it was a, a black woman and it turned out to be a, a a man. You think it's a woman, but it turns out to be a man. And he starts running out. And it was just out, out of the shop. It was really funny. Next one I got is. I don't know, this is rare to find. I cannot find, I couldn't find this anywhere. I'm surprised they had this at Blockbuster. And it's a Cheech and Chong movie. One of the Cheech and Chong movies. Th Cheech and Chong's Things Are Tough and Up. Tough. Things, Things Tough All Over. I didn't get to see this yet. But, um, I'm, I'm def definitely looking forward to this. It's this is when they go to it's go they go into Las Vegas and stuff. This looks really funny. I only believe it or not. I only saw the I only saw uh, Cheech the first Cheech and Chog movie. I didn't get to see the others yet, but I have like mostly every um, almost like every one of them. But uh, yeah, I'm a big Cheech and Chong fan. Like I want to meet them someday. I, like I definitely want to meet them someday. Next one I got is Final Destination. I saw this one and the second one, and I really liked them. I didn't get to see the the th the, the other two, but I want to see them. I want to see the new one, the third and the new one. But uh, I think this is p the the first and the second are my favorite. But I think this is I think this is like my favorite one for some reason. It was just like you know, real inspiring plot and uh, really creepy, really eerie. I really. I really enjoyed the death scenes in this, it was really good.